Bird Patrol is born of the need to monitor the health of our 2020 lands to see how effective we can manage them. And by using our data, we can determine trends of population and distribution. And um, it's terribly important that we have some actual statistical hard data that we can use to prove that these birds are using the areas. And in that way, we can better protect the habitat that they do use. Bird Patrol covers all the habitats Lee County has also. So you get to see um, up, up close what's in need, what, what can be, what's threatened and endangered and things to that effect. The Bird Patrol is very important to the county as far as a volunteer staff to monitor their territories, be it the parks or the 2020s, Monitor it, I mean, by giving them a monthly recording of what's going on in that area. Bird patrol by monitoring the populations of birds in the different areas that we manage, um, provide data that we can use to see how well our management activities are doing. We can see the increase of some species as we control exotics and open up habitat types that have been closed due to lack of fire and the decrease of other species. Um, and we can see whether our management activities are bringing back a more natural community. And their data provides this um, information that we can use to assess the activities that we are doing. This area is a, an uplands area and in, they've taken out a lot of exotics and are trying to take out a lot of exotics for this situation so that they can induce more birds, more native uh, creatures to come into this area. Um, you can see the sable palms that are natural here. Background you can see some of the Australian pines which they're going to remove. We have a lot of hawks that visit this area. There's a kestrel. It's quite a few species of special concern. One thing that's so important about it is, and in all these preserves, is that they, in letting it go into a natural state, they maintain the dead snags. So many people, when they buy property, want to remove all the dead snags. And these are perfect habitat for woodpeckers. And it's just a wonderful place to see a lot of red-bellied woodpeckers here, pileated. It's a beautiful lo location for that. And they need those dead snags so that they can have the insects that are in the bark. Rookeries are important areas and we're blessed in Lee County in that several of our parks have um, major bird rookeries in them. Um, the Bird Patrol monitors the largest rookery in Lee County which is at Lakes Park. And um, through their monitoring, we were able to notice that after Hurricane Charlie moved through and a number of the rook rookeries on coastal islands were more or less destroyed with their trees being reduced in height by as much as um, two thirds. Um, the birds left those areas and the, the numbers of birds occurring at Lakes Park greatly increased. We have, um, the largest number of white ibis breeding in Lee County at Lakes Park and many of the other species um, of wading birds also occur there. And wading birds are one of the very um, large and distinctive birds that make Florida special. The rookery here at Lakes Park is really very special because it's hidden. The park is very heavily used by people, by families, um, by individuals who want to run and bike and do all the play games and picnic. And yet the wonder of this place is that it's so heavily used by the birds. A rookery is a nesting spot and the birds like to come and be very tight together. There's protection for them in the numbers. Um, and so they like to be isolated from people and yet be in places where they can be very tight together. And Lakes Park offers that to them. The islands um, that they use are really hidden from the people. And so we see the birds, especially in the morning and in the evening, flying to and from the rookery. But we don't 
unless you get into a canoe and get out there and have a look at, at the nesting procedures, you don't get to see the young birds, the nesting birds. So it's all very fascinating and it's a wonderful combination of use by people and use by birds. Another important aspect of bird patrol is they cover the beaches that the county manages. There are a number of birds using our beaches and the data the bird patrol is collecting is very important for us to determine um, the number of birds using it and the, number, the areas they use and also the um, potential for human impact to this use. Um, shorebirds in particular um, feed during the low tides and loaf during the high tides and a, a, a large amount of disturbance during that loafing period can burn energy reserves that can't be replaced during the feeding period. Um, the bird patrol has uh, worked on several species that are endangered or threatened in this country. One of them, the piping plover, winters in Lee County, and the bird patrol has identified marked by piping plovers and turned in the results of these observations and, and determined that some of them are coming from the maritime provinces in northeast um, Canada. Um, it's important that we have this data and also that we can provide it to the, to the national um, migratory bird managers um, so they can do their jobs in helping to preserve these species. Because just with the naked eye, I can see there's a lot of laughing gulls and there's some black skimmers. But to actually do the, uh, the counting, then I need to kind of use something like the scope or binoculars to see these birds a little closer and um, check and see what else may be in there because I'm sure there's going to be more than just black skimmers and laughing gulls. And I do have a royal turn. There's another willet out there. And in the background, there's a, a sanderling that's interesting only because of uh, the time of year. And it's, it's, in its, it's starting to mold out of its breeding plumage, and sanderlings don't nest any closer than, like, Upper Canada. So I know for sure that that's a bird that has just migrated, and they're already kind of back down in where they're going to winter, or on the way to where they're going to winter. Keep them as independent as possible as a volunteer because I think that's what makes volunteers happy is, uh, in my opinion, especially birders who are very independent people, um, to go ahead and observe the birds, collect the data, and have their own little space to go to. And that was kind of the concept of the bird patrol, collecting the data for the county, making sure that, that their territories in the 2020s were protected as far as data collection and the voice of the birds were being heard through all the data coming in. They can't talk to us, but they can tell us how they're doing by their data. If it goes up, they're doing good. If it goes down, they're not doing so well, so maybe we can change something. Again, it all ties into to how healthy our environment is. There's every possibility that you could overdevelop this place to the point where maybe bird species in general aren't, aren't in decline or reversing, but they're certainly not going to stop and visit us. And it reduces the quality of life. Every, every link in the chain missing is a weaker chain. And it's, a, it's, a, it's less quality, it's less... I just think you have a less satisfying life.